I'm very happy to be talking to Mohammed Al Rumi, who's Under Secretary for the Civil Service Commission of Kuwait. Now, we've been hearing a lot about e government, uh, putting people in touch with government services. Now, you've done something to put potential employees of the government in touch with the government so you can get a sort of perfect fit. Can you tell us what you've done? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, what we did in Kuwait is uh, to implement uh, an, a new system that's called e employment. Uh, that's the system really. Uh, connect uh, the citizens or the people who want to work in the government with the different government agencies. So any any Kuwaiti citizen who want uh, to work in the government uh, apply for that system, whether uh, he or she call and uh, register their name uh, or uh, uh, log on to the internet and then register uh, their wishes to work for the government. And this is very important because transparency in government jobs is an issue, isn't it? Yes, it is important and it's uh, very transparent and it's very fair and it's uh, uh, rank the people according to certain criteria, uh, whether it's uh, the, their specializations, their uh, degree, in the, whether it's from university or any applied education. And then uh, 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 dominate or uh, nominate those people to work in the different government agencies. There's an important issue of design here because these sites have to be very clear, don't they? Right, of course. Uh, and uh, fortunately now uh, the citizen uh, of Kuwait who wants to apply to work in the government, he or she does not have to do anything just to log on and just put their civil ID number. And uh, from that civil ID number, we get all the information from seven different government agencies, whether it's, uh, uh, it's a fe male or a female, whether it's in the, within the certain age, employment age, whether uh, he or she works in, a, in, a, in the private sector or not. So we get all the information. Of, and then if it's uh, within the certain criteria and certain regulations, uh, he or she will be registered within our system. And then uh, we nominate those, the, the, those people to work in the government. So it's very clear, very user friendly and it's transparent. Now you've won a prize here for, for this initiative. Is this inspiring any other arms of government in Kuwait? Of course, yes. Uh, and uh, we were very glad to, uh, that, uh, to find out that our uh, r really uh, work uh, is appreciated now w here within the WISIS. And uh, we won the prize yesterday. And uh, that encourages us, uh, encourage us first uh, to work much harder to improve our system and to make it uh, more transparent and more friendly with, with the Kuwaiti citizen. Uh, plus, uh, it, uh, of course, it will encourage the other government agencies in Kuwait to uh, improve their systems and try to participate in the future activities, whether it's in the WISIS or in the Gulf area. Mohammed Al-Rumi, thank you very much. Sure, thank you very much. It's, it's been a pleasure.